This video is strictly for educational purposes only. I do not condone glorify the use of drugs. Yo, what is good? I'm Loki Fish, and in this video, I'll be covering the substance known as the Amanita muscaria mushroom. This is arguably the most famous mushroom in the world and is featured all throughout pop culture. One of the most popular examples is the mushroom being the main power up in the Mario Brothers franchise, in which Super Mario eats it and becomes stronger. I'll go over the effects, dangers, history, pharmacology, and everything else in between. Let's get into it. The Amanita muscaria mushroom is a large white gilled, white spotted, and usually red mushroom that is perhaps the most iconic toadstool species. Sometimes it is referred to as the fly agaric mushroom. It predates alcohol by 10,000 years and is native to different woodlands throughout the temperate and boreal regions of the northern hemisphere. The Amanita muscaria mushroom is sometimes confused with psilocybin mushrooms as magic mushrooms. But these two mushrooms have completely different compounds, pharmacological effects, and appearances. Additionally, psilocybin is illegal in more countries than not while the Amanita muscaria is the opposite, being mostly legal. The fly agaric mushroom is presented in all forms of recognizable media. One example is in the fairy tale Alice in Wonderland. The main character Alice eats the mushroom and starts to experience hallucinogenic effects. It would make her witness objects becoming smaller or larger in size than what they really were. Furthermore, in the cartoon featuring the Smurfs, the Smurfs themselves would live in Amanita muscaria mushrooms and make homes out of them. Moreover, Super Mario eats these mushrooms to become a more powerful version of himself. It is even speculated that the fairy tale of Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer originated from the usage of these mushrooms too. Reindeer herders will feed the Amanita muscaria mushroom to their reindeer to control the population. It will make the reindeer feel merry and jolly and jump around as if they were flying. Some herders will even drink the urine of these reindeer afterwards because the psychoactive compounds in the mushroom pass through the body mostly unmetabolized. Therefore, the urine of someone who has recently consumed the mushroom can provide a potent source of the alkaloid. So I had to drink my own pee. The two psychoactive compounds contained in the Amanita muscaria mushroom are called ibotenic acid and muscimol. Both have different purposes and effects in what they do. Ibotenic acid increases visual acuity, problem solving, vasodilation, and is looked at as the upper part of the shroom. Muscomol brings calmness and serenity due to it affecting the GABA receptors in the same way that benzodiazepines do. This is viewed as the downer part of the shroom. Ibotenic acid is a neurotoxin and serves as the pro drug for muscomol. Tripping on ibotenic acid without converting it to muscomol can induce nausea or vomiting and leaves the user more susceptible to experiencing a bad trip. I wanna live! I wanna Muscimol, on the other hand, can induce a psychedelic state that is less likely to make the user physically sick. The name fly agaric mushroom comes from people reportedly adding the mushroom to milk. Doing this will kill pesky roaming flies, but it also serves as a way to convert ibotenic acid into muscimol in an attempt to produce a more safer trip with less negative side effects. Safety above all. Some Amanita mushrooms can be deadly because a few of them contain amatoxins, which can cause problems like <laughs> liver failure. These compounds are responsible for 95% of mushroom death. However, the Amanita muscaria mushroom does not contain these toxins. Instead, they contain isoxazole toxins, which can cause modifications in mental state. Fatal poisoning from ingesting this mushroom is extremely rare. This is usually due to someone thinking they have an Amanita muscaria mushroom, when in reality, it's a totally different poisonous shroom. This has caused the North American Mycological Association to state that there were, quote, no reliably documented cases of death from toxins in these mushrooms in the past 100 years. The wide range of psychoactive effects has been described as dissociative, psychedelic, depressant, or delirium, and paradoxical effects such as stimulation may occur. One specific effect can be frame reduction, in which your perception of time becomes less and moves at a slower frame rate. Size distortions can occur like in Alice in Wonderland, in which objects can either grow or shrink in size. Dream states can occur to where it feels like you're flying in space like Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. And looping can also happen, in which it feels like you're experiencing the same moment over and over again, over and over again, over and over, over and over. Over, over, over. Enthusiasts recommend between one and three grams of prepared mushroom as a low or therapeutic dose. A threshold psychoactive dose is generally around five grams of prepared mushroom. The dosage tends to be higher than many psilocybin mushrooms, and both mushrooms generate vastly different effects. Watch this video next to learn everything you need to know about psilocybin mushrooms and even how it compares to LSD. Amanita muscaria and psilocybin are both psychoactive mushrooms, yet they both provide vastly different experiences. My name is Fish and I stay low key. Peace out.